Matthew Hopkins was a man who was on a mission to hunt down witches. He declared himself to be the Witchfinder General, and although he had no formal qualifications, people were so frightened and superstitious that they were glad to let him track down witches in their villages. Most of the people Hopkins claimed were witches were poor, uneducated old women. Rebecca West, who lived in a nearby village, was an exception. She was only 15. Rebecca, her mother, other relatives and friends were accused of making a woman ill with witchcraft. Matthew Hopkins came up with a test that he claimed would prove if they really were witches. Hopkins claimed that because water was used in church christenings, it was a pure element, which would reject anybody evil. First, the suspected witch's hands and feet were tied together to prevent her from swimming. When she was firmly bound, she was ducked into the water. The theory was that if someone was guilty of witchcraft, they would float. And if they were innocent, they would sink. Of course, many people drowned, and although they had proved their innocence, it was too late to save them. Those who floated often faced even worse treatment. Rebecca and the others were brought here to Colchester Castle, where they were to be interrogated in the cells. Another test that Hopkins used was pricking. The suspected witch was searched for devil's marks. These could be moles, bites, warts, or other marks on the skin, where it was claimed the witch's imps sucked her blood for food. When one of these marks was found, it was pricked with a pin. It was believed if a witch's devil mark was pricked, she wouldn't bleed or feel pain. Witch hunters like Hopkins would use needles, which retracted back in their handles, causing no pain or blood. Perhaps the most brutal interrogation was to follow. The suspected witch was kept awake, sometimes for three or four days, by being forced to walk around the room non-stop. They were watched carefully. Any animals, like spiders or flies, which were found in the room, were supposed to be imps coming to feed. When Hopkins had finished with her, Rebecca was terrified, exhausted and confused. Just how he wanted her. No one knows what Hopkins said to Rebecca. Maybe he offered to let her go if she confessed, or maybe her mother convinced Rebecca to confess to save herself. But at last, Rebecca told Hopkins what he wanted to hear, that she and her family were witches. In the days that followed, 24 people were hanged as witches. Rebecca's mother Anne was one of them. Rebecca herself went free, but it's difficult to believe she was ever happy again.